Is it time to buy or sell Trevina stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Trevina. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, May 9, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 8, 2023, our system has ranked Trevina as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of 0.31. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has underperformed compared to our predictions, with a loss of minus 43.09%. This translates to an average loss of minus 21.54% per day since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current 3-month trend suggests a potential minus 7.98% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 72.73% and 61.45%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 40.59% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 49.63% and 248.98%. This translates to a price range of $0.89 cents to $6.18 after a year. Our latest daily update for Trevina includes the headline, Big Movements in Trevina Stock Price on Tuesday Moving 63.74% Between High and Low. The Trevina stock price fell by minus 43.09% on the last day, Tuesday, May 9, 2023, from $3.11 to $1.77. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 63.74% from a day low at $1.71 to a day high of $2.80. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days but is still up by 183.2% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 87 million shares and in total, 21 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $37.88 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $3.93, and the lowest price was $0.120. Currently, the price is 54.9%, or $2.16, below the 52-week high, and 82.3%, or $8.23, below the all-time high on February 22, 2016, when the price reached $10. Analysts have given Trevina stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as buy and price to book as buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock and strong buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Trevina. The Trevina stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $1.15 and $0.80. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the 3-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Monday, May 8, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 43.09%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 2 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 124 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 6 days ago. Long-term moving average, by signal 3 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. 
by signal three days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart, we see short moving average by signal three days ago. The long term moving average by signal three days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages by signal 59 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Trevina There is no support from accumulated volume below today's level and given the right condition the stock may perform very badly in the next couple of days. This stock may move very much during the day, volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be very high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $1.09 between high and low, or 63.74%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 85.54%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Trevina, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A negative PE ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on August 09, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Trevina. There's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. There's no significant support from accumulated volume below, which means the stock could potentially drop sharply under certain conditions. Proceed with caution and consider placing bets only if you're an experienced trader who knows how to navigate such situations. The combined average rating for Trevina from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On January 6, 2023, Shin Berry conducted an insider buy of 50,000 shares of common stock. On January 6, 2023, Drake Patricia M. conducted an insider buy of 25,000 shares of common stock. On January 6, 2023, Burdo Cariel conducted an insider buy of 100,000 shares of common stock. On January 6, 2023, Demi Trackmark conducted an insider buy of 50,000 shares of common stock. On January 6, 2023, Yoda Robert T conducted an insider buy of 25,000 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 72.170. Overall, insiders purchased 10,333,966 shares and sold 847,317 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $1.67, minus 5.74%. This stock has very high daily movements and this gives very high risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found one day ago. Is Trevina stock a good buy? Trevina holds several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Wednesday, May 10th, we expect Trevina to open up $0.323 and start trading at $2.09. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. 
What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.